going to cook today is we're going to do roasted chicken and paprika roast potatoes in the air fryer. So uh, first of all I do apologise about the noise, unfortunately the washing machine's on. People are in the kitchen so I come into the utility room to film these videos, not ideal but this is where the air fryer is as well. So <clears throat> what do you need for this recipe? Well for the potatoes you obviously need a chicken, oh, I've got two small medium sized chickens from uh, Lidl yesterday. Um, buy these potatoes, these are both Lidl. These are the really, these are the really cheap ones. Um, I'd recommend you get these if possible. Uh, these ones here, because they seem to be exactly the same. Look, there's both of them in there. You can't tell which is which. They both look identical to me. So uh, any canned new potatoes, peeled potatoes in in water will do for the recipe. Next, you need some olive oil. Next. And these are optional but this is nice, paprika, uh, chopped garlic powder and salt and pepper. Right so uh, I've just paused the washing machine, I've worked how to do that. Uh, so this is a really easy thing to do, first of all put some olive oil on, this is necessary to make them crisp up. So put some olive oil on like that, probably enough, let me see and uh, make sure that that's all mixed up in potatoes like this. I've cut most of these potatoes. Uh, you don't actually have to do that. There's another one that I missed. Um, you don't actually have to do that but I have found that they can explode if, if they don't at least have a cut on them and I've also found that cutting them in half is is better because you get more crispy sides to them. Just add some paprika now, like that, give that a mix. Next, I quite like to put this on, this is garlic, again just gives them that bit of flavour, again make sure that's all mixed up. Like so. Um, pepper. And finally some nice uh, Himalayan pink salt on there. Like so. And uh, I'll mix this up but that's it. That's all the prep that's required for some absolutely fantastic air fried potatoes that you can do in about 20-25 minutes. Right I have um, two small 1.4 kilogram chickens here. Uh, these should easily go in the tower dual baskets or the ninja dual which are virtually exactly the same. Um, you can put some herbs on here. You don't really need oil on I don't think in, in here. So I've just got some of this because we're, we're not having this as a Sunday roast, this is going to be sort of a bit more like a barbecue roasted chicken thing. So uh, meet Angus and Oink, I get, I get some really good rubs from there and I'm going to put this one on sweet bones and butts, which I use for ribs normally. There is a good one called Feather Duster, which is great for chicken but I've run out of that. So just put, some, just put a bit of this in there like this, just to... Um, and what we'll do is we'll we'll put it in in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them 20 minutes breast down. So 20 minutes breast down initially, and then we'll turn them the other way and do them for probably about 25 minutes breast up. So about 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. We'll see. I've got, I'll get the thermometer out and see how we're doing for temperature. As usual, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's a bit of a struggle. But you'll see, look at that. She fits in there lovely, look. Right, so they're both in there and they are both breast side down. And we're going to cook them for 20 minutes breast side down. Turn them round and then do them for at least 25 breast side up. I'll check them at 45, probably be done I suspect. Um, and I'll use my, my thermometer and I'll show you that 
shortly. So we are going for a match cook and if you need to see how to work this machine see my other video which is a full instructional video so we're going for a match cook and we will select uh, chicken saying 200 degrees for 20 minutes perfect that's exactly what I want to do on this side go and we're up and running now I'm going to do the potatoes in here after the chickens done and one thing about this I will say um, a lot of people think oh you've got to keep the chicken warm for 20 minutes you don't just wrap it in foil all chickens uh, pieces of whole meat that are cooked should really have a 30 minute rest anyway if possible so what I'm going to do is when these are eventually ready I'll bring out the heavy duty foil wrap them up to rest and for all those juices to, to soak it back into the meat and then at that point it will give it 25 minutes or so for the potatoes to cook and it will all be ready and the meat will be nicely rested so that's perfect right we've just had the beep to tell us 20 minutes is up it already smells good does this oh yeah it's already cooking nicely look at that nice and crispy that side already I suspect, look at this, that rub's burning nicely there, it's got some sugar in it. I suspect um, this will definitely be done in another 25 minutes so I'll just flip these around and then uh, we'll put them on, on the other side. So I've just uh, flipped those around with the tongs. The thing about doing a chicken, look at that juice that's gone down there. Uh, the thing that, about doing these chickens in here is that they really retain their juice. Hardly any seems to come out of them. There is some in the bottom, you probably can't see through the holes down there. But you know, they, they make, they make sit the absolutely fantastically juicy of these chickens when, when the, the they're finally done. So, I'm going to put these on now for another, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give them 20 minutes again because I don't want to overcook it, don't overcook chicken. I've got my thermometer here which I'll tell you about in a minute. So don't overcook it, so we'll, we'll do them again. So again, match cook, chicken, 20 minutes. Let's see if they'll do in 40 minutes. So this is my thermometer, um, I'd recommend everybody use cooking either barbecue or in an air fryer has one of these because one of the reasons being is is the cooking instructions on things uh, don't really give you air fryer temperatures uh, and use so it's good to have a thermometer to check things like chicken um, this is called a thermopen British made and this is actually these things uh, super fast um, instant read thermometers used by professionals chefs I, I, I use this in my barbecuing if you check out some of my barbecue videos so um, you don't have to spend this much but sometimes you can get these cheap these are worldwide so the British company but worldwide these are rec recognized as the Rolls Royce of instant read thermometers they're absolutely fantastic right guys the towers just beeped Oh yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Now, um, let's see the temperature. <coughs> Chicken is cooked at 100, it, it's beyond having any pathogens in it, 165 for 30 seconds. So really you can cook it for, to lower than that. But if we're gonna say 165 to be on the safe side, it's probably done over, but let's see. Oh, hang on. Interesting. Not quite cooked through yet. This is why you need. Look at that though. That's well over that side. That's 159. That's 162. So we're just about there. It's 151. Seeing where it is in the leg. Legs are 180. They should be a bit warmer. 161 so we're not actually that far off I think when it went into the bottom of the that still looks a bit cold look if you can see that's 138 so it does need a little bit longer he's going to need a 25 minutes I think let's try this one 
Yeah, look, that's similar, 136 right near the bone at the back. That's interesting, they cook, these machines must cook this side, and that side, before that side, because this side's definitely cooler. So we'll give it another five minutes and then that should take us up to where we need to be. That's why you need a thermometer. It's almost impossible to cook this stuff well without thermometer, even though that would probably be fine. Right, so these have now um, had another, I gave them another seven minutes and they're about 160 down at the bone, which is fine because they've been at that temperature for quite some time. Uh, really, <laughs> they burnt a bit actually. I think what I'd do next time with these, so it's, it is worth bearing in mind, I think I'd cook them 25 minutes down and then 25 minutes up. And I think that would be perfect for them. So I'd give them another five minutes facing down. So there's a tip for you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put them on here. They don't need to be put in an oven. They'll just dry up if you try that. Um, all they need to be do is sit there in, wrapped in foil for half an hour to rest. And the, honestly, we're going to take them out. You can tell they're full of juice there smell fantastic they look really good uh, and then i'm going to put the potatoes on now so i could put these potatoes all in one but to speed up the cooking process i'm going to put half in one and half in the other like so and we'll put these on for 20 minutes or so at uh, 200 Give them a bit of a shake halfway in between, so just just might as well just cook them at the chicken level, and we'll get these chickens wrapped up to keep them, let them rest now, and so 20 minutes we'll be ready to to dish up. These potatoes are coming on now, nearly done. Look at them, look at them. eight minutes they'll be really nice and crispy and we're ready to go lovely so this has been resting see what I mean about you don't need to put them in the oven it's been resting in nearly 25 minutes it's heated up it's continued to cook Juice is coming out of it in there. Put that into my cutting bowl. Look at that. So we'll start carving this. Chop it down the middle. Look at the juice coming out of that. I hope you can see that. Oh. That's how the air fryer does chicken. Beautiful. And there we have the final dish with the potatoes the chicken breast, chicken leg and wing absolutely lovely, get some barbecue sauce on that chicken top quality <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more air fryer videos let me know